Hi, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you about maps in Minecraft. Now, maps in Minecraft were just added in, in this update. Now, all maps, you know, I have, there's two features about maps that they can do a lot of things, and um, they also have a cool abilities as well. And I'm also going to go over three new Minecraft that I added in, and one cool thing is that. When you walk onto water now, when you press the walk on the arrow up button, it doesn't make you go up. You have to go up. You have to hit the jump button. And I can see clear underwater because I have water breathing, night vision, and a respiration helmet. So let's start with maps. Now maps, of course, to craft it. You need nine pieces of paper, and one thing about maps is this, that in PC you craft it like this, that you, um, in the middle it has a compass, but in PE it doesn't require a compass, and let's generate it, so, oh my god, now, it's awesome, now, you guys might be wondering what is this red line, this is actually the roller coaster I made for this video and yeah, so this is maps now of course you can put them on a wall and it will show up as a map now maps I first of all didn't thought that if you put a map inside a item frame it won't show up as a map but it does Map, this, these are maps. Now, it shows my arrow, green arrow where I put it in the item frame. Now, we're gonna go generate another map. So let's just throw away this. Then I want to fill up this wall first of all. So we'll go on this island, little island. So grab a map. We're gonna generate the rest of it on the rest of the island of the map. Now, the map can go on forever if you have an infinity world, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, let's generate it. Yup, I think it's supposed to be like that now. <coughs> So let's put it in the item frame. I'm really good at generating maps. I've done it for a long time. And in PC, now in this map, it doesn't show where your player is. But in PC, it shows where your player is now. Perfect. It's perfect. Perfect, now we're gonna go behind the one that I generated. And we'll go behind this. Okay, so I'm not going to generate it, so I went over maps, how they work, and everything that you can do with them. But there are a few couple of cool features that you can do with them. Now, luckily I have a bunch of maps here, so I grab a map and a compass. I put it, get it, and generate it. Now, as it doesn't show where my player is walking, to do that we have to put the map in an anvil and a compass, and it will now show where I am walking, so very good. Now, 
No, I, I get it. It was supposed to be this little island. That's why I like it that it shows where your player is going. Okay, so one other feature that you can do with it is if I add some paper to it, it will increase the map. No, not, you need to add nine pieces of, eight pieces of paper. Now, show, the more I explore, it's gonna show more, so. Now, I only explored less. Now, you can make it go very small, like the map is so tiny, but holding this is just fun. Now, th those features you guys have to explore on your own, but then we'll start with the mi new mine cards. I'll try one more time. I'll try one more time again to see how it works. And then, whoa. That's the map, and I put it in here, and I wonder, I wonder how it looks like on a wall, oh, on an item frame, it just looks like an item, a map, and this is the one that shows where your player is walking, so, these are the maps, and go to sleep and then I'll show you the three new mine cards that are also been added in. So I made a little roller coaster for testing it. And I'll go to sleep and I'll show you what they how they are now. The basically the mine card with the chest is a moving storage. So I'll grab them. We'll start with the mine cart with the chest, so it's basically a moving storage. So let's see if I grab some red, paint, some boats, and some animals. And we'll put some, um, we'll put all these things in it. And let's say I want to move this. So what this will do is that we should see it on the other side soon. You should see it now and we'll open it. So that's it. Now we'll open it and boom, it has the storage and it has my stuff. Now the TNT one, of course, it's a little different. It has the button interface to explode. Now, if you put it on a detector rail, it doesn't explode, but if it goes in fire, yes, it does explode. So we see we have the button interface and when it lands. Ooh. Next is the hopper mine cart. Now this chest has a lot of things in it, but we want to send it into the bottom chest. How can we do that? Yeah, how can we do that? But this, what this thing will allow me to do is that exact thing. Put some rails inside it and block the redstone. 
mode for this mic use this some different blocks so the wheel is empowered over here. Okay. Check that the wheel. So we test it again. It set through the chest, through the hopper. And then boom, it's going. And the cool is getting sent in that chest through the hopper. These are the three new minecarts. Now, basically the hop minecart with the hopper, I don't know, it, it might be the most confusing one, but I showed you that it funneled the stuff through. It's just like a, a regular hopper. I'll go with my little and show you it, how a regular hopper works. That's my survival world. Okay, there we go. And there is it. Ah, uh, there it is. So if I put something in it, it will disappear. And look at it, it's going like a beast. Other side, so that is it, and this is how a regular hopper goes. It's not like a beast like this one. The reason that this one goes like a beast is because this one is a minecart with a hopper. Now, there's one minecart that didn't show in this update the minecart with a furnace. It actually, the minecart with a furnace, you can get what it is, it's just a moving smelter. So that's what it is, and this is for today's, today's my video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.